Hey everybody, Brendan Isaiah Bankston here. I'm a lead character artist at Crystal Dynamics and a streamer on ZBrushLive.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to do some super cool realistic leather. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. So realistic leather has so many details in it, and it's awesome. You can just drill into it and get all in there and sculpt all over it. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite things to do. But now some of you may be saying, Brendan, why don't you just use a material? And leather materials? Why not? Just throw them on there. Slap, slap, slap. Nah, man. Sculpting is fun. You got to get in there. You got to drill in and get all those dirty little details in there. Let's get to sculpting. I mean, you could throw material on there, to be fair, and I usually do, but when you throw material on there, you don't get all of this cool little memory wrinkles in the right areas. So typically what I'll do is I'll do uh, a little bit of both. So I'll go in and I'll sculpt these little memory folds in the areas that I want them, and then later in the material phase, I will overlay a leather material in some of these larger sections. So what better time than show you right now? Here's how I do it. Uh, so I'm just going to grab a standard plane, a 3D plane, plane 3D. Uh, make sure that that is a polymesh 3D. We're going to go ahead and subdivide it a couple of times because I want enough. Eh, usually, I think it's I think it's six for this one. Uh, about a million. Uh, yeah, I'll say about a million. Cool. Now, secondary forms. Okay, sculpty, sculpty. First, second. Actually, that's that's also a second. This is a secondary. I'm just gonna get maybe it's just some kind of base, interesting, somewhat interesting forms. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just for... It's never perfect. Okay, just some super simple... Like that. Okay. Next step. Establish some smaller details. Alright, uh, so I'll usually we'll just use my standard brush here. I'll use drag rack. And then for me, um, I'm going to use... Uh, alpha, just to, at, we can really just use almost any kind of leather alpha, as long as it has some kind of base details in here. In this particular case, I'm going to use Leathery Skin 79. Something like that. Okay. All right. So let's adjust. We're going to do subtract, and we're going to take that down a little bit. Cool. This is the beginnings. All right, so I'm going to head back up to the highest subdivision here. And then I'm just going to start laying in details. Actually, before I start that really important point, morph target. So you want to store your morph target first. That way you can always get back to this state. All right, so I'm just going to start throwing in just some kind of crisscrossy. So what I really want is I want these things um, to have really happy accidents, right? So when I'm throwing down these alphas, I like, I'm watching how these um, are kind of intersecting in between where I'm dropping them. So I kind of want to go in a X pattern. So these are kind of going this way, and then these ones kind of go a little bit across that grain. So we're starting to get these little shapes in here like this guy and this guy and this guy. So I'm just going to continue to just throw a bunch of this in and I'm looking for happy, happy accidents. Happy little accidents. And I'm not too concerned about it being repetitive uh, because when I overlay them um, and kind of mix and match like this, you will get rid of that repetitiveness. I don't want to go too much. I'm just going to go kind of enough, right? So I'm starting to lose a little bit in here, which is fine. You can always go back. 
All right. So I'm just going to do the, the, the main memory folds through here. So again, I want, I'm looking for this kind of this crisscrossy action here. Something like that, okay? And then, now what I can do is take my morph target, BMO, morph brush, and then I can just pull some of this back a little bit, right? So it's going back to that previous state. That's the awesome thing, is that it's like rewinding a little bit. So the idea is get some happy accidents happening um, and then we'll kind of capitalize on those happy accidents. So these these big memory stress folds will usually happen in between some of the secondary shapes. So maybe I'll just pull that out just a little bit. If I don't like it, pull it out a little bit and then go back, right? So we're going to go back to our standard real quick and then maybe I'll just do another one in here. So like that. Cool. Oh, dude, it's actually starting to look like leather. Okay, next step, enhance. All right, I'm gonna use our damn standard here. And I'm just going to pull out some of the areas that I really like. All right, so I'm gonna use this base layer as how I want to actually pull out more of these details. So I'm just gonna kind of go in and pick out some of these and enhance, enhance. All right, so the whole idea of this, that first layout was to just get some of these interactions happening where I can go in and really add some extra little details in there. Happy little details. So we're just going to get some crisscrossing in some of these areas. So I don't like that. The good thing we got to do. Okay, maybe so maybe something like this. Kind of like that right there. All right, so you're starting to see this varied depth happening. Right, so I'm, I'm getting some uh, different shadow values, right? So it's going to give us kind of a little bit more depth and, and interest. All right, and then I'm just going to vary this up a little bit. I'm going to kind of go in, and you can do this a couple of times if you want. You know, if you don't like how something is is looking, you can morph target back. But for the sake of this little tutorial, we're going to steam ahead. Keep going, dude. Just keep going. Eventually, you get out of the valley of the suck. Now, I want to make sure that I have um, some kind of different size pieces in here. Okay, cool. And then if you want to, you can go back and add a little bit more. So maybe we'll go back to our standard. And then we can just... Whoa. Add just a little bit more. So you can see as I'm starting to layer this information up, right, you can already tell where some of those pieces are going to be. And this is a little too repetitive in here, so I'm going to try to break this up just a touch. And maybe we can add a little bit more intensity. All right, so I just want to break up some of those areas a little bit. All right, that's cool. All right, back to my morph brush. Pull out a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and we're almost done. We're actually almost done. Here, now's the, now's the fun part. Oh, I love this part. The big payoff. All right, so we got all of these kind of memory folds happening, right, in the areas and the amounts that we kind of want. All right now, now the magic sauce inflate. 
I love inflate. Now, what we're doing is, so basically what's happening is the, the skin is compressing, and then where it compresses, it, it buckles up like this, right? So the surface of the leather actually comes up a little bit in those areas. So all I have to do is come in here with my handy-dandy inflate tool, and we'll just start picking out some of these little spots where these happy accidents were happening in between my secondary shapes. All right. And I just I just go in and hit different areas uh, in different amounts and it kind of lends to the whole organic feel. Oh. This is my favorite part. I'm a sucker for details. This is like my zen moment. Alright, so we're getting that skin, really it's skin, right? Um, that buckles and pushes the surface up in between these stress lines. Like of that, like of that, like of that. Leather. Cool. Hey, now you know how to do it too. And now you can see that's how I did all this detail. All right, you just go in, find some areas that you want some stress in, um, drop some alpha, pick it out the details that you want with your dam standard and then you hit the inflate brush and you can do all kinds of cool stuff and that's really nice organic details so that's it short and sweet hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and as always hope you had fun hope you learned a couple things but most of all i hope you're inspired to go out and make some cool stuff so you get out there go make some cool stuff brendan says so all right, guys. Thanks. Bye.